In this theory, light has spherical geometry, and as it interacts with matter, it forms a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This spherical geometry is not my idea, it is based on Huygens' principle of 1670, that says every point on a wavefront may be considered a source of a secondary spherical wave, which spreads out in the forward direction at the speed of light. This spherical geometry can actually be seen. In these images from the International Space Station, we can see that a candle flame in zero gravity will naturally form a sphere that is interacting with the environment relative to, the, to its surface. Because the absorption and emission of light is spontaneous, we have a continuous process. Spherical symmetry will continuously form and break and then form again. This process is relative to the energy and momentum of the atoms. Therefore, because we are made of atoms, it is relative to our actions, giving us the potential to create sacred geometry in the form of art. A good example of this process in action is snowflake diversity. Just a change in environmental temperature forms diversity and complexity. The potential for infinite snowflake diversity can be based on the simple fact that there is an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere as long as it is continuously expanding or radiating out. When the spherical symmetry breaks, it has the potential to form the most beautiful geometrical shape in the form of the Fibonacci spiral, with the potential for ever more greater symmetry formation, forming the broken symmetry of cell life. This process also forms the potential for disorganization, forming greater degrees of freedom for what we call entropy in physics. This dynamic geometry even forms the potential for ever more abstract mathematics and can be seen as Ford circles. No one places the Ford circles in the mathematics. They are already there, representing the dynamic geometry that human mathematics is based upon. I will place a link here to a set of, set of videos that explains this process in greater detail.